Well, guys, it is time to take a ride in the Camaro. Let's go. Time to go get some uh, cigarettes, people. It's cold outside in the summer. Not really. Ah. And there's our driver. Ready? Well, I didn't know you were giving a gas like you was ready, so I didn't know. No, because you ain't got it in gear. You got heat up in here. I know I don't got it in gear, Kathy. Somebody had it on the air. Well, I didn't put it on the air. I know that. Crystal, uh, yeah. All right, ready? Yes. All right. Anyways, we're going to get cigarettes. I'm going to give my niece back here a cigarette. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. She needs a lighter. Oh, shit. <laughs> Almost gave you a cigarette. No wonder it wasn't getting warm. She had to dig on, uh... Wait a minute, I, I let Psycho Mom use this the other day, and she, uh... I can't see. Had the damn air conditioner on. Who turns the air conditioner on in a car in, when it's 50 degrees out? I can say back up slow because I got a stop sign down there. So you're good. You're good. Give some gas. I'm scared of it. Got her now. All right. Okay. Off we go. We're going over by Safe Lot. No, you're going to the tobacco store. I'm going to the tobacco store. Okay. Yeah. It's easier. Everybody try to get out. Yeah, they. I don't know about everywhere, but here we live. They got a tobacco store. You just drive up to the window, order your cigarettes, pick them up, and go. So, anyways, that's what we're doing. Say goodbye. Alright guys, I'm out here. I thought I'd do a quick video riding in the Camaro. And uh, yeah, had to get cigarettes. What is going on you guys and welcome back to the lounge. Hope everybody is doing good. Hope you enjoyed that little bitty ride. It wasn't, well, that really wasn't much entertainment there, was it? Um, anyways, took a little ride to the store in the Camaro, which I, you know, I love that car. It's my favorite. Uh, some people might say, oh, it's an old car, John. What, what is the big deal? That's a big deal to me. I, I like Camaros, always have. I'm, I'm just a Camaro kind of person, right? Um, anyways, I'm uh, going to do a shout out to, uh, <clears throat> goodness, I cannot talk, Jeff Haxton Vlogs. Um, you guys check him out. Really good dude. He uh, He's a cameraman for Was. And uh, by the way, sorry to hear about you getting fired, bro. Um, you know, that sucks, but you know what? You are, you're rolling on your own. You've, you've got your own thing going. You've got, you know, you've, you've got a good, a good amount of people following you. So, dude, you got this. You got this. And, and honestly, I think that that's what, I think that's the whole thing. Jugger Nuggets is, I think, wanting you to be successful because of your own success. Because, of what you do not because of what he does he doesn't want to you know what i mean i i can understand where he's coming from and obviously my channel is nowhere big like uh mcjugger nuggets or even like yours or and them other guys you guys got me beat no doubt about it i mean uh i'm a small youtuber i need to change some things and uh we're going to talk about that a little bit later into the vlog but um uh, right now uh back to talking about you man um i think he feels like you know whatever he goes through he's pulling you with him so if it's good then you know great because he's he's got you with him he's you know 
and and you know good things are happening to you but i think he's looking at the aspect that if he goes down he's he's dragging you down with him and and i really feel like that's part of it i don't see him going down i mean he's got good content you know in the beginning i i didn't really uh fully follow him and and his videos and stuff but in reality he you know he's got a good channel but so do you but so i i think that he's doing it because he wants you to you know be successful in your videos and your vlogging and all that because of you not because of him i think that that's why he doesn't want to you know have you continue to work for him um because let's think about it you was going to work for him for free you was going to say hey I'll record for you, and I won't even charge you anything. I won't even, I don't want paid. I'll just, I'll just record. You know, I think that, you know, with, with you wanting to do that and not get paid and him still not wanting to have you work for him, I think it's got to do with him just, he's, he's not wanting to, to, to drag you down or, or, you know, he wants you to make your own goals, I think, is the, is the bottom line. He wants you to have your own goals. He wants you to be successful because of you. And, dude, you got this. So go, go back and watch your video on football. You know, you, you did good on that. Um, so just, you know, do your do your own thing, and I think you'll do, you'll do all right. So, um, guys, go check him out, though. The link's down below in the description. Um really good vlogger he does a good job he's got good content and uh all that good stuff you know another good youtuber out there so many good youtubers and uh all that so and and this vlog is kind of going to be a, a a mixed vlog because i'm going to be talking about more than one thing here um because there's also a situation going on youtube i'm trying to understand and it's not me uh criticizing or nothing like that uh, to anybody or not anyways um, we'll get to that later so go check him out do that um, also share and uh, you know follow him on Twitter and if you can maybe he'll he'll get this video and see that I did a video for him and just you know giving him thumbs up um, if you guys can throw a tweet out there with hashtag Jeff Haxton vlogs um, hopefully he'll see that and be like oh let me go see what the loud what, what is this shit Right, um, I'm, I'm trying to come up with new new things that I can do to help us out because honestly, guys, we need to talk. We need to talk because I I need to be doing more, and that's what that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about that here in just a minute. So, uh, yeah, go get you a drink, whatever you got to do. Let's go to my desk. Let's have a seat. Let's just talk about things, guys. Let's go have a talk. And I think I got one. What is going on, Saxon family? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet a part of the Saxon family, what are you doing? Smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. Real quick, I'm gonna do all the shout outs that I normally do later in the videos right now because this is a very serious video and there's a lot of things I wanna discuss and talk about with you guys in this video. So we're gonna start off real quick with the channel membership shout out of the day. It's gonna go to these two wonderful people right here who basically help support me and my channel in return I give them a shout out the link to that be down below in the video description if you want to help support me and the channel itself moving on we got the Twitter shout out of the day it goes to this person right here who retweeted my previous video on my Twitter at Jeff Saxon vlogs by the way also follow me on my Instagram at Jeff Saxon vlogs but if you want a Twitter shout out of the day all you gotta do is go to Twitter and retweet this video as well and then you're entered into the Twitter shout out of the day as you guys can see I am back here in New Jersey I'm no longer in South Carolina and I'm also not in Los Angeles with Jesse for the my virtual escape live show which absolutely stinks and uh, you know I'm here right now at my parents house and I've yet to tell them that I've been fired by Jesse and am no longer working for rigid studios and I don't know how I'm gonna break it to my parents that I've been basically let go from my job because I know in like a month or two I'm not gonna be able to afford to actually pay my rent 
I'm gonna need a place to stay. This is honestly gonna be a very difficult video for me to make today due to the fact that the wounds are still open for me with just everything that has transpired the past few days. By now, most of you have probably seen the video on Jesse's channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and that is, well, I currently no longer have a job, I am no longer an employee of Bridges Studios, I've been terminated, or a different word, fired from McJargonuggets channel and Bridges Studios, and uh, it, <laughs> It absolutely sucks because I absolutely love that job and I loved always holding a camera in my hand and filming for the man that somebody I looked up to and what what makes it worse was I just came up on a year anniversary since I left a very good government job making very good money to follow a dream and a passion for working for Jesse that was a dream and then also doing my passion of YouTube and the only thing I got left now is just YouTube itself and I don't, I don't know honestly what to say um, because you know I gave, I gave that up to follow my heart and my dreams. I'm honestly going to try my best not to cry. If you guys saw the video on Jesse's channel, you know that I was a complete emotional wreck, especially just getting the news that I was let go. And uh, it, it's hard to think about somebody that I considered my best friend for the past year um, let me go. It just. It, it honestly hurts and uh, I can see from a business standpoint of why he did it but other than that it, it just it just sucks but in no way am I gonna trash talk Jesse at all in this video I mean he always treated me like gold and he would tell me from time and time again that I legit became his best cameraman. He told me my camera skills were better than Corn. They were better than Parker. With no, in my opinion, no disrespect to them. They were both very talented at what they did. And, uh, you know, he, he just always told me like, hey, you're the best cameraman I've actually ever had. Even though I know you fans love Corn and Parker a lot more than me. And, you know, I know you guys <laughs> absolutely hate me, but just know... I always tried my absolute best for you guys and for Jesse just to make sure the shot that I would get would be the best absolute shot. I'd make sure the video would be really good for you guys and I, I just always tried my best. But I know some fans will never see it like that and uh, at the end of the day I'm okay with that. I mean if you like me, you like me. If you hate me, you hate me. At the end of the day I'm just not going to let that affect me. I know, I know who my real supporters are and I know who the haters are and you know. I'm just done trying to make every single person in my life happy. Because every time I ever try to make everybody happy, I've always just got burnt in the end, no matter what. In all honesty, I'm not going to lie, I messed up when I was that kid behind the camera's house in South Carolina. And uh, that explains why I'm back here in New Jersey at my parents' house. But I do want to explain myself on it. I, I'll start off, the Fortnite rage, yes. I got a little, a little too mad about playing Fortnite Battle Royale. I should have been able to control my anger with it from the game. But yet again, every once in a while, my emotions will get the best of me. And then uh, the handcuff prank. A lot of you guys were telling me to get Jesse and Michael back for all the embarrassing stuff they made me do in public, which were bets that I lost because I really just wanted the shout outs. And, you know, I, I just was reading your guys' comments and you guys were telling me just do something crazy to get payback on them, which I did. So I, I decided to order handcuffs and handcuff prank both of them. But, you know, I felt bad the next day because I basically ruined AGP's bar birthday party for Michael. And so the next day I just wanted to make it up to Mike and that was basically jump starting because the car wouldn't start jump starting EGP's car. I got it to move, I had it running, and I was going to then go get it washed with a wax and get an oil change, put a new gas filter in, all these different things just to help the car run. If you guys know anything about classic cars, if it's sitting outside for a long time uncovered, it's going to get all this dust and all this stuff built up on it. The car is not going to start and literally it didn't start so I had to, I had to work on it. and. At the end of the day, my, my heart was in the right place, my attentions were in the right place. I just wanted to make it up to Michael and do something nice for him. But at the end of the day, I guess you could say that I messed up even though I was trying my best to do something right and make up for everything that I did. Just to, you know, help Michael out and just prove to him like, hey, I'm a good guy and I, I want to help out with all this stuff and, you know, do my part living at your house and helping you out, I figured it was the least that I can do was help restore AGP's car. I know that upset a lot of you fans from Kid Behind the Camera channel and uh, you know it, it goes to the same thing. I mean what if somebody took my dad's government issued ID 
from me right here, if my camera would focus, take the ID of my dad and uh, basically destroy this or do anything to it, I'd be heartbroken, honestly. I mean, it means the world to me, and you know, that's how Michael feels about the 55 Chevy. And I guess at the end of the day, I'm in the wrong, even though I was just trying my best to help out. But there are some things I do want to say, especially to the fans and all the juggies out there that have supported me uh, when I first came on the channel. I want to just say thank you, especially the fans that support me throughout my virtual escape and, you know, saw the improvement I, I basically got while filming the series. I, I went from always having a shaky hand like that to smooth, steady shots. Uh, but to those fans that always supported me, I just want to say thank you so much. It, it does mean mean the world to me um, that you you took me on to the MJN channel with open arms. I will say this, so I feel like my impact I left on the MJN channel besides filming my virtual escape is my weight loss journey that I'm going on and I hope I'm able to help at least one person with it that can go out there and actually lose the weight as well and you know that was the goal just if I could help one person but to see the amount of people that I inspired and I'm helping with the weight loss journey to me it, it just it makes me feel like I'm doing some kind of good um, I don't know what the future personally holds for me the other day after getting fired I decided to take my phone out and just write some things down about how I felt and uh, you know I wrote this down and it, to me it's a pretty good quote and I want to read it to you guys and it goes like this it was a crazy ride but in the end all rides must come to an end either happy or sad but never forget how that ride impacted you and honestly I, I hope this crazy ride has had a positive impact on each and every single one of you out there and uh, you know it had a positive impact on me but it just it had a sad ending in the end and uh, I just want to say thank you to all of you out there I just want to say that I will be continuing making content here on my channel for anybody that found me interesting outside of Jesse uh, hopefully moving forward we can do some crazy things some things that are very entertaining for you guys I got big goals now I want to uh, get to the 200k club, I want to hit 500k, and then I want to hit a million, million subs and, you know, maybe 10 million. But those are just streams and we got to work towards them. I just want to say thank you to each and every single person that sat through this whole entire video to hear me out, listen to what I had to say. Just thank you guys so much. Saxon family, just know that I do love each and every single one of you. Remember, you can do anything you put your mind to, and I guess I have to put my mind now to nothing but YouTube and uh, focusing on the future and that includes you guys so thank you guys so much drop a like on it if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications check out all my social medias at jeff saxon vlogs until then i'm gonna log out i'm gonna peace out well pa -pa 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 -pa. peace you guys so uh here we are at my desk and um now this isn't nothing bad i'm not saying like you know all the lounges is going bye bye or you know anything like that but but i feel like something is missing what is missing guys something is missing and i don't know if it's me i don't know if it's you know i don't know but but I feel like there's there's something that like like there's just something that needs to be there but it's not there. You know what I mean? Have you ever like have you ever um like say you're going camping right and you pack all this stuff and and you've got everything and you know you've got everything but then at the end you're like you man I feel like I forgot something. Like, I, I left something behind, right? That's that's what I'm what I'm feeling right now. Like, did we leave? Like, like what is left behind, so to speak? You know what I mean? Um, this is where you come in. And look, if, if you know, whatever the opinion is, go ahead, give it to me. All right? Leave your comments. And let me know. Um, 
what do you think we we need to do now i don't want no one you know being like well it's not our job to to figure out what what to point you know to put because it, it's not your guys' job to, to tell me like well this is this is what you got to put but you guys are a part of this this is something that we've always done together as far as being there for each other helping each other lifting each other up so what is it what is it because like i said i maybe it's just i'm going through that that phase maybe it's a phase that that all youtubers go through and maybe i'm i'm at that point right now because of the you know I don't want to say speed, but the the time that it that it takes to to build, I I feel like man, I've been here a long time. I should be higher than this. I should, we should be more than what we are now. So, you know what I mean? I I don't know, I don't know. But I wanted to talk to you about it. You you guys know how I am. I, I speak how I feel. I you know. Uh, I try to make you guys a part of everything. So, you know, may, maybe you got some ideas to throw out there. Or do I just go back to continue to do my, my you know, my motivational videos that I've always done? Do I go back to continuing to do the Old Man Roger that I've always done? Do I go back to doing, you know, just doing the lives every night just to, to do them? What is it that you guys think? And and honestly, you, you know, some of the reason that I've, that I've not been on lately is because um, I don't want to bore nobody. So, you know, sometimes I'm like, well, what am I going to talk about tonight? You know, um, you know, like the bullying thing I do. I, I, I love doing that. And, you know, I've got a channel for that and I'm going to continue that. But anything that I do, even my motivational speeches that I give... I don't know what, you know, what the progress is with them, with them type of topics. Like, I don't know if it's really helping anybody. I don't know, you know, which way that's going. So, this is where you guys come in, leaving your comments. Let me know what you think. What, what do you think? If, if I, if I put the, well, let's just say this. Say I, I threw the camera in your hands, right? What would you do? that I'm not doing maybe or what would you do that I've been doing what would you do to change it what do you guys think that is causing the the slow mode that we're in right now what do you guys think it is um so yeah well I wanted to talk about that um I appreciate all you guys and uh, I'm gonna be looking at the comments um I've got another video I'm gonna be doing tomorrow uh, before we do the the Sunday night thing um, for our uh, weekly shout out uh, to to three of you out there um, that I'm gonna be doing shout outs for showing showing part of your video and and shouting that out right um, and also the things that I do that you that you want me to keep let me know because if I'm not getting any type of feedback on something, I'm going to go through and I'm going to say, look, okay, John, you did this, you did that. That stuff really didn't do much. Let's not do that anymore, right? I, I need your feedback, okay? It's very important, very important. It is really, really important that you guys, you know, give me your feedback on that. So, anyways, there you go. We took a ride in the Camaro. I talked a little bit about... Um, The vlog for for uh, Jeff, uh, was it Jeff? How do you pronounce that? But anyway, it's you know what I'm talking about, um, and you know talking about McJugger Nuggets and all that. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Tried to you know kind of you know spread it out a little bit. So be sure to give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and let us continue to try to work hard to reach that goal for 1,000 subscribers. Uh, that I feel like is moving so very slow. It's like we go up a couple and then we go back down one. Go up a couple and big back down one, you know. So, uh, I don't know. But I'll talk to you guys in a bit. And I hope everybody's doing good out there.